Rogue Logic. This is the way. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Rogue Logic, and welcome to the first Magic Hat Sunday. Uh, basically, every Sunday, I'm going to do a little bit of random stuff to uh, just have a little bit of fun and uh, maybe uh, be a little bit informative on a few things. So the first thing for every Sunday is going to be T-shirt of the day. And uh, this one is like, in this case, it's Latveria, which of Look course, out, nerd alert. there it is. That's right. The ultimate in dorkdom. Yes, it is. But I wear it proudly. And uh, Latveria, if you did not know, is the mythical or fictional place that is the home and country of Victor Von Doom. Doctor Doom of the Marvel Universe, pictured right here. And, uh, you know, this is very interesting for one reason. If you don't give a crap about it one way or another, just skip ahead. I'm, this is only going to be a minute. But what is very interesting is that if you do like this sort of thing, there's a whole page on Latveria, even you though it's aware fictional, of that, which I'm aware of. Well, yeah, I am. Um, at any rate, uh, I did not quite know that how extensive the page was. And, uh, if you are into comics, this is really interesting. And Dr. Doom has always been one of my favorite characters. And over the years, he's always been developed into really, uh, a well-rounded character because he's not just, you know, started out and, uh, was, you know, pretty much just two dimensional villain in, uh, let's see, I think, uh, well, 64, somewhere like that, 1964, with the Fantastic Four. And um, since then, he's he's just been used so many different ways and is a very interesting character. So if you like comic books, that's something to check out. Now, next, I'll put up the actual flag of Latveria, which I did not know about until I looked this up. And I'm going to, I'm just going to let people look this up themselves, but I I can't help but put this on here. They actually have the statistics of Latveria like it's a real country. So it has the type of government, dictatorship, the population, uh, ethnic groups, languages, public holidays, and so forth. It has cities and towns of Latveria, points of interest, and the demographics so on. So it's, it's pretty cool. It's, it's cool if you're into comics. If you're not, yeah, maybe you'd want to skip that. So moving on to the next. All right. The next part of Magic Hat Sunday is going to be uh, obscure word of the day. I always like to learn some new words. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to do it with the old faction. Wow. The old fashioned dictionary, not the one online, but we're going to open this book to whatever page, and I'm going to point to something. And, and the word is mesmeric. Now, from the word, I was able to derive pretty quickly that it had to do with mesmerism, but I did not ever hear that way of using it. So I will put that up here when I find that online. And uh, let's see what it actually means and how we can use it in a sentence. All right, so this is the actual definition online, pronounced mesmeric, causing a person to become completely transfixed and unaware of anything else around them. As an example, we will use uh, the viewers of Rogue Logic found themselves to be in a mesmeric trance, watching the show. All right, well, you know, I had to do that. Okay, so there we go. That is the obscure word of the day. Next, we're going to go into um, moments of this day in history, or maybe just one. We don't want to overdo it. So first, I will get it out of the magic hat, and let's find out what we've got for... Moments of this day in history. Let's try to just pick one and see what would the most interesting one might be. Uh, I'm going to have to go with this one. This would be April 30th, 
1966, and that was the formation of the Church of Satan. <laughs> that, that was him, I guess. Uh, let's see, it was, I've of course heard of him, maybe you have as well, Anton Sanzor Laviette, and it was the so-called Black House in San Francisco. The Church of Satan had drawn both ire and interest since then, since its uh, creation. Um, now, as much as they called them devil worshipers and whatnot, the church really was uh, more or less their their uh, repudiation of Christianity in the sense that they basically said that they were atheists in a very uh, indifferent and uncaring universe. So that's, that's about all there. But um, that church pretty much was the first expression of Satanism as an organized concept. So that's kind of interesting. Um, there were some other ones, but that one, I think that's the most obscure that I like. So uh, let's find out now what's happening today. All right, for weird current events, uh, this isn't actually today. This, uh, I guess, was on the 21st. So it's just a current event around today. But a Russian woman living in New York City was sentenced to 21 years in jail for poisoning her friend, who was very similar looking and also spoke Russian, which she tried to kill her with sedatives inside a piece of cheesecake. So let us see here. We have uh, a jury convicted Victoria Nasiarova. And that was to 21 years in jail for poisoning her similar looking friend with the cheesecake. And uh, evidently her friend, this was attempted murder. Her friend did survive and her name is Olga Tisvik. And uh, there you go. I guess uh, if you're going to try to poison someone, you might want to be a little bit more careful in the day and age of forensics. So moving on, um, what else do we have here? Uh, okay, the last one for today is the website of the day. And this one was actually, I stumbled upon this by accident because when I have mentioned in the past, um, some of the things that I'm interested in as far as uh, giving donations to, I mean, almost exclusively, I donate to uh, welfare of animals and, um, uh, you know, stopping mistreatment of animals and endangered wildlife and so forth. But there are a couple things that I'm really, I always think is a, a great thing to give to. So I'm going to throw that in here right now. One of them I'm not going to concentrate on. It's not the one I stumbled upon, but it is Wikipedia because, you know, let's all think about how nice it's been for the last X amount of years, however it's been around, to be able to start your research somewhere before you actually do research. I don't mean just stop at Wikipedia, but to be able to go there without any ads. So I try to always give a few dollars here and there to Wikipedia especially during their uh, fun drive, because um, I really would not want to deal with that. And I don't think you would either. So I think that is an actually great, great thing to give to occasionally. But what I'm talking about today is NPR, National Public Radio. And uh, I, I just think it's a great um, source of news and some interesting channels and the Science Friday and, and so forth. So really good but the, uh, that came up because all right sorry for the short interruption uh yes that actually is where i uh found the article it is other places but i found the article about the woman poisoning her friend with cheesecake but uh npr uh has a um a channel or a i'm sorry a station on on line and it's under their whole heading of npr which i'll put up here and i'll put in the comments below but uh, it's strange news. So basically whatever's going on today that's a little bit odd. There are some other ones, but I'll leave that for you to check out. And uh, I guess that's it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap it up today. Um, I hope that was a little bit of fun. I needed a bit of a break from political commentary. 
And what I did want to say to close up was uh, something that I've thought about recently and it has been brought to my attention. So I, I think this is a good place to to address it. Um, it's people have said to me that, you know, you're you're mostly what your voice here is on YouTube and various other platforms. And, you know, by the way, I've been kind of neglecting it lately. If you do like my content and you want to support the channel, it's a great help if you like and you do comments below. And that would be great because I really want to interact with you. And of course, subscribe to the channel and hit notifications so you know when I have something new out there. Uh, okay, moving back to my point. So, yes, I do try to be kind whenever I can. And what, what has been pointed out to me is that, well, you're not very kind to uh, certain political figures and news commentators. And, of course, what we're talking about here is um, quite a bit of the far right and uh, some establishment uh, Republicans and Democrats. And here's the thing. There's, there's, a, there's a huge difference between being kind and I, I, would, I would pretty much uh, challenge anyone to find anywhere in any of my content where I said anything that was, you know, basically uh, hateful or violent or anything of that nature. I, I'm not saying any of that when I'm either doing satirical things about these people or I'm calling out their behavior. Because here's the thing, uh, you, you, kindness only goes so far. That's why I always say, be kind whenever you can, almost all the time. So, no, I'm not going to sit back while people like Tucker Carlson and Marjorie Taylor Greene, I know you know the, the usual suspects that I'm usually kind of bringing up because they're the ones that are the loudest voices in, in these, these areas. And, you know, if, if we sit back, I, I did a little video either on uh, I, one of my shorts or something about one of my favorite quotes about basically, uh, uh, I'm going to forget the guy's name right now, but I'll put it right here. And it's, uh, you know, to paraphrase, uh, um, Evil only survives and thrives in the world when good men and women do nothing to stop it. And that's basically the idea. I, I misworded it a little bit. But, uh, you know, that's that's not not being kind. I, I don't go after these people. I, I would not go after their families. I wouldn't, you know, hit below the belt like they do. They They bring this upon themselves. I mean, when you're outwardly bigoted and racist and you hate people just because of where they come from and you know you're not even trying to hide the fact well yeah i i'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat that for anybody so um i hope that clears things up because uh you know a couple things happen to you now this is obviously in addition to what kind of person you may be in general, and I, I, I never have really been someone who I, I, I really never was like that, where I'm going to attack people because of where they're from or the color of their skin or their religion or whatever. No. But after what I've went through with, uh, you know, basically thinking that I wasn't going to be here for very long. Yes, I, I have become more, uh, I hope, more forgiving. I hope that uh, I can change people's minds rather than just, uh, uh, you know, make fun and uh, whatnot. But the thing is, when, when that happens to you, sure, you become kinder and you, you appreciate the people you love and the animals that you care about and everyone in the world and you hope for everyone to do the best. But you also get to a point where you're like, you know, I'm not going to take any goddamn crap like this. And if we do, we're going to, I'm not going to go on about that today because, you know, I, you've heard it before, but I like living in a constitutional republic that is of a democratic nature that, you know, allows us our rights. And uh, no, I'm not going to sit back and let people bring us backward in time rather than forward 
And uh, that's it. So, you know, I, if anybody has some comments for me below and, you know, thinks that I'm a hypocrite, fine. I, I don't I don't even wish any harm to these people. I mean, sometimes we all get frustrated. I mean, to me, I find it extremely painful that there are people that have platforms of millions and millions of people and they're spewing horrible, hateful divisive things that are only going to divide us. Do I like that? No, I don't. But I'm not wishing them harm. And and that is, I think, the key. So I thought of something else, but I'm not going to go into it now because that's what I always do. I ramble on and I'm not going to do it. So be kind to everyone whenever you can, which is almost all the time. Be kind to animals always. And hey, everybody, have a great Sunday. Peace. All right, so what do you think? Was this this idea a good one? It's a new one? I think it's pretty decent, like a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's not the worst thing ever. It could be better. All right, yeah, that's a fair critique. Uh, it, it could, it could, but it was my first one. So I think, you know, for number one, that was pretty good. If you say so. Skip the nerdy yeah. t-shirt well, thing. Well, I'm not going to leave out the t-shirt thing because I like it. And part of my thing here is that I have a different t-shirt every day. And I think explaining it would be fun. And it's something I can tell the audience and not be revealing things that, you know, that I just, it's just kind of surface stuff that's kind of fun. Sure. Tell them you're a dork every yes. week. Well, I think they already know that. But thank you again. So with that, I will say... Good evening. Wow, that looks ridiculous. I don't think that works very well. Let's see. How about like this? No, that's not any better. Um, I do have another one. Look. <laughs> Magic. Yeah, no, I have two hats. This one's smaller. Oh, wait. That one's, that one's not good. See, I think with a hat like this, you kind of have to have the rest of the outfit and I don't right now so I just look kind of stupid that's a bit of an understatement yes well I admitted it myself so uh till next time everyone have a great day <laughs>